They're taking a look at exclusive uh, aerials from Chopper 5 in the air over this scene on Congress Avenue, the overpass over I-95. As you can see now, the cab of the truck that has been dangling over I-90, or the, actually the tri-rail tracks, is finally being cleared from the scene, being put onto a flatbed. But it has been an hours-long process. Yeah, we're going into hour eight and a half, really almost nine hours since this started earlier this morning. Crews out there are now cleaning up uh, after this crash. Keep in mind, northbound and southbound, the on-ramp and the exit ramp both are closed so that's something you want to watch out for and gosh this is going uh to really mess things up uh, obviously mm -hmm. f dot crews are going to have to go out there and check out that bridge you see the structural damage right there just check the stability the structural mm -hmm. damage what needs to be repaired chris stewart's been on the scene since early this morning and he has more on how it all unfolded chris well let's get you up close here with this truck that went right through that on ramp here at Congress Avenue onto I-95 South, being uh, getting ready to be towed away uh, as we speak. You can just see the front of it uh, just completely destroyed, and that is the path that it went on. You can see the barrier there uh, that crews right now working to clean up. Uh, but just take a look for yourself. You can see that engine block, the front of it, completely gone. Uh, also, just standing right there, the driver uh, of this truck who is. Uh, frankly, lucky to be alive, lucky to be not injured after all of this that unfolded very early this morning. Let's take a live look from Chopper 5, set the scene for you from the sky, the only local helicopter covering breaking news first and fast. Early this morning, this truck was traveling uh, at a 65 miles per hour coming through. The driver mistook the off ramp for an express lane. So he was coming uh, at the speed limit, he says, and just went right in and through that barrier wall and that left him dangling for hours. The truck dangled for hours over the tri-rail train tracks. He was inside of that cab. He actually took his mattress and placed it towards the front. He says he was preparing for the worst, a, a scary situation, but he told us based off what he's done in his life, he was not afraid. I, I, you know, I've been in Iraq. I'm ex, ex pack for the army and you know, that didn't bother me going what I, they do exactly. You listen to what they do, you'd be fine. What do you think? Y'all got a great first responder. I don't care. Prison Park, police department, your first responder. Well, please back. And it took several hours for crews, both firefighters and those who work for a tow truck company to get into position to pull this truck back from that position and bring it onto solid, safe ground. And as we bring you out here live, you can see that's where it is right now. Very damaged and about to head, uh, be brought away from this on-ramp. Now, there is still a lot of cleanup that needs to be done uh, at this time. We can bring you over here and I'll show you. Uh, you can see the barrier that the truck went through. Uh, the truck, uh, it's uh, what it was carrying. Uh, it was coming from Georgia, headed to Fort Lauderdale uh, when, it, when all of this happened. Uh, they still have to clean all this up. There's some fuel they have to clean up as well. Uh, we did talk to somebody with FDOT who told us that the on-ramp, the off-ramp, uh, here at Congress Avenue, I-95 South. That's going to be closed for uh, a little less than the next two hours. So still some work to be done uh, right now as they continue to clean up. But the good news in all of this, no injuries. The driver, he is okay. The truck, that's going to be carried away. But again, a lot of cleanup still left to be done here. I-95 South uh, here at Congress Avenue. Uh, the on-ramp or a very scary situation for this driver who is okay unfolded early this morning. We're live in Boca Raton. Chris Stewart, WPTV News Channel 5.